Hello everyone, this is Viren and welcome to the fantasy match preview for the game between Mumbai and Delhi. A big game for the Delhi team. They have to win this one to qualify and surely it's a big game for you too because the fan to play leaderboard is now at its fag end. So ensure that you make 25 teams and make full use of the fact that the first prize here is rupees 2 lakhs. So you have a massive chance to go and take that big prize. So make 25 teams, make a few safe ones, make a few risky ones, make a few based on the toss and I'm sure you'll crack that GL only for you. A special guest with us today, Crick Crazy Nicks, Nikhil like you know him and this is the last league stage preview that we're doing together. So please give us your inputs and tell us how the games are going for you. They've been very, very tricky, I'll be very honest. Uh, I always thought IPL was probably the easiest tournament to predict. But mm. IPL said, please hold my bad ball and everything. And uh, <laughs> it's not it's turning out to be a nightmare at, at times. Like yesterday, uh, we had Arshal Patel not bowling over because he got because he got injured. Now that's something that mm. you can't control. But uh, in the second innings, Lockheed Ferguson didn't bowl more than two overs. Uh, Hardi Pandya <laughs> wanted to bowl. They didn't bowl spin to RCB in the first six. So sometimes those calls have made you scratch your head. Uh, but again, mm. which guys we talked about in the previous uh, call as well that it's not wise to invest in small leagues given if teams are going to continue to experiment. So you have to invest accordingly and keep that money safe for better or uh, bigger tournaments that are coming up now. Hmm. True, I think there are a lot of tournaments coming up anyway and maybe this is an opportunity worth using to make more teams, make join mini yeah. GLs, join GLs. I think that is the real key chance for us. Yep. <clears throat> so then anyway, let's get to the team then for today's game. So we'll start with the keepers. I think both the choices are pretty obvious, Kishan and Pant. And uh, do you see Stubbs by any chance getting more opportunity or something because this is Mumbai's last game and they probably want to have a look at him? Or it's they will just play him where they're playing him. Oh, uh, again, they are likely to experiment, but I don't think they should push him down the order uh, mm. because you already have Team David batting uh, with Tilak Varma there. So that that area is sorted, and they're playing at Vankade. so mm. they know the conditions very well. Uh, what I mean, what I might be very really interested to see is uh, last time they pushed him too much down the order. Now. Mm. What are their future plans with him? Whether they want him to bat so down or they want him to bat up, that's something that you need to decide. They've sent Daniel Sams up the order, which mm. I don't know. It, it works in BBL, but there are things that only work in BBL. So uh, <laughs> they'll have to figure that out because Delhi will not be shy of bowling spin. They have yeah, a lot of they have bowling enough. options. Yeah. And they will have bowling options. So uh, that I think is a very key, key part to see. Uh, hopefully, he gets a game. If he does, should bat at three. I don't think he should bat below hmm. that. Got it. So, I think that's a GL pick for you, especially if he's batting friendly. Then, yep. we come to the batsmen. Again, I think Rohit picks himself, David Warner picks himself and uh, do you see anybody else from the section? Tilak Verma or do you want to give that a skip? A team David is possibly the only option that Hmm. People might want to try, uh, but again, that's a call that you have to take whether they feel uh, Delhi will take new ball wickets and a lot of them. Because hmm. he is getting to bat and whenever he's batting, he's getting enough time to make an impact as well. So, he's probably an option for people to try out if they feel that hmm. Mumbai will lose enough wickets. So, probably while batting first, you might want to consider that, uh, picking him. But otherwise, yeah, these two guys. Yeah, and Tim will not have it easy because like you mentioned, there's a lot of spin anyway. Yeah. Yes. So, then I think we look at the all-rounders. Again, you mentioned Daniel Sams is batting up. So, that makes him important yeah. because he's bowling full. Mitchell Marsh is again important because mm -hmm. Mumbai don't have a full-time spinner. And Akshar Patel, who has a really interesting matchup against Rohit. He's, Rohit yeah. strikes at below 100 against him and dismissed twice. So, do you see a third dismissal for Akshar there? I think it depends on the uh, opening partnership that Delhi have in terms of with the ball. Mm. Sometimes they've tried Thaku, sometimes they've tried uh, somebody else. So, uh, if Khalil plays, I expect Khalil to also bother Rohit a bit uh, with the mm. left arm angle. And Kishan has also been okay, uh, not too great on either side. So, he's done fine, mm. fairly well. So. You could potentially see Aksar Patel in the power play and then mm. if if Kishan is not facing him uh, because Aksar doesn't mind bowling to left-handers as well. 
so uh, if there is a longer boundary and kishan is you know he they can get him out hmm. so yeah still be on but depends a lot on the pitch that they play on all right and that also brings me to the other point that when you pick your first bowler nokke kishan was pretty flummoxed by umran's pace last time so there's a chance for khalil nokke and aksar to have favorable power play matchups yep yes for sure so that makes me pick by default our first bowler nokke <laughs> and the other bowler bumra and uh, yeah. do you see thakur again getting three or four wickets because it's mumbai in front of him or how do you see that panning out uh, it's a weird pattern to be very honest with thakur sometimes you you feel delhi are not using him well uh, yeah. they are bowling him out of places uh, last game they didn't bowl him out of place and he took wickets so if they continue to do that he should be taking wickets but he's taking wickets in second innings which is again slightly surprising he's probably a better <laughs> bowler to take risk on in first innings so yeah. uh, but given that things have not been stable so you don't have to think yeah. out of the box let's go with what is going on and uh, <laughs> because shardul will also bat up uh, yeah. and mumbai are finding ways to take wickets whenever they do in whatever yeah. shape and form so uh, if shardul gets to bat he'll give you a good point because he doesn't muck around he'll hit fours and sixes and get out so those additional points are always there and mm. uh, the pitch is very important if there is slight hold for the bowler shardul will do well so probably on the pitch i'll take that call mm. for now i'll probably have him and then if we feel that uh, you no know, there is a better option then maybe we can look for somebody else right and it's his home ground to wankhede so yes. <laughs> yeah. and i think the last pick we pretty much discussed how important he's going to be in this game kuldeep yadav because he's going to play yeah. against that mumbai order that is known to concede wickets in the middle order so i think yeah. that completes the team for us so yes. who do you see as captain and vice captain in this game that uh three players uh, are probably someone in my mind uh, starts with the two all rounders uh, one is mitchel hmm. marsh uh, hmm. again very good uh, option uh, because mumbai don't have enough strong spin attack uh, to be very mild and <laughs> respectful to that attack yeah. uh, so he can get him up but he also but he's also giving early chance so mumbai yeah, have to get mm. that they take the early chance if not then you know he's going to score a bit yeah. if daniel sams is bowling if mumbai is bowling first i'm very tempted to go with daniel sams last mm. game as well he should have had three wickets he had a catch drop as well so, and then he's batting yeah. at 3 so it is a lot of good fantasy value return if he's going to be batting at 3 and if he's bowling first because he's finding ways to take wickets so right. those are the two options i'll probably stick with marsh for my captain hmm. one of david warner or kuldeep yadav could be my vice captain again depending on uh, how we feel the shape of the team is what are the options that mumbai have because Warner hasn't been troubled by too many of the Mumbai bowlers in terms yeah. of current bowlers that they have. So he's very right. smart. He'll pay him off, and then you can get a good return uh, with the bat as well. And he takes a lot of catches. So yeah. that as well, Warner could be key. And then Kuldeep Yadav is always a safe option uh, given the struggles that Mumbai have had against Pin. So plenty of good options actually. Marsh, if he bowls, then makes yeah. it a very very good option. So uh, I think Marsh, Warner, and Kuldeep could be good options to have. right so i think we have enough safe and risky choices mixed up in that and uh, there is one interesting match up with pant and bumra we already discussed the one with akshar but bumra has dismissed pant six times so do you see the seventh coming in there especially because pant is going to play under maybe if not a lot then at least some pressure because it's all, the onus is on his team uh last time i remember delhi played mumbai and it was the last game pant did very well uh, so hmm. <laughs> Hopefully that is the case. Uh, again, the matchup with Bumra is again a tricky one because see teams are not using players in their normal roles. So yeah. uh, yes, Mumbai will want to bring on Bumra whenever Pant comes in. But when Pant comes in is also a question. Sometimes they have sent Sarfraz up or somebody else. Sometimes yeah. they played around. I mean, you forget Pant's fantasy captain. That's Lal- Lalit Yadav. Uh, you never know if Lalit comes ahead of him, and yeah. then. Uh, so it's about countering that one threat because he doesn't have any other threat in that bowling attack so right hopefully he's also smart enough to not take bumrah on Play but again one being one 
I may not even be surprised if he goes down to reverse sweep. Uh, Rivers could boom again. He's he's that. If you talented. can reverse Jimmy Anderson in a test match, then you can do anything. <laughs> yeah. So I guess we have a base team. I, and there's one interesting question which many people have asked me in terms of this game is: uh, Do you see Mumbai playing some different players? Do you see someone like Arjun Tendulkar making a debut? And who do you see as uh, people who might actually get a chance in this last game for Mumbai? Uh, I'll just say one thing. I'll control my investment in this game uh, hmm. to be very, very. I'll probably invest only after the lineups are out uh, hmm. because, like before yesterday, Gujarat had not, nothing to lose, and they literally played like they are like like they have nothing to lose. So, uh, in terms of the wrong sense, that they experimented too much with their bowling attack. Uh, they didn't get to bat the way they should have. They didn't use the right tactics. So. See Mumbai like Chennai as well. They could be looking at the next season and they could try a lot of players out. Then yeah. it becomes really tricky for you that what if Bumrah is rested? And if you invest yeah. a lot, then then you suddenly find out okay, Bumrah is rested. This looks very easy now for Delhi. So then it could yeah. become a different game altogether. So they could definitely try it out and they should as well. This is probably their only chance and in any which ways. So I'll say control your investment. Probably play grand leagues more. But again, once the lineups are out, you can still definitely invest in the kind of leagues that you want to. All right. Okay. So I think we have enough in terms of the small leagues. Apart from that, who are your challenge picks for this game, and how many? Most probably two, <laughs> like we've had uh, <laughs> in the recent times. Uh, again, mm-hmm. as I said, slightly confused between uh, uh, Warner and Kuldeep as the third pick uh, mm-hmm. because Mitchell, March, Bumra are most likely going to be there. Especially if Bumrah right. plays for me, uh, mm. but yeah, the third option could just be a toss or condition specific one. Makes sense. Okay. Okay. So I think that sums it up for us with our small league picks, our challenge picks, and you also have the giveaway to join for this game. Your code for this one is S U P S A T. So remember to join the giveaway. And Nikhil, do you have any closing comments or any punt GL player that you would like to give give out as a hint to everybody? Uh, I'll say try out the Indian youngsters who come in, uh, yeah. if at all they do for Mumbai. Uh, again, the key reason for them for that is uh, one thing that we, we we need to start to understand. Possibly a way to counter these random changes is try and find out the role that the guy is going to play. Yeah. Even if it, if it, if it's a very important role, you can definitely back him and try him in your grand league teams. Like somebody said, a Siddharth call yesterday. Uh, yeah. Mental Patel didn't bowl. Siddharth Kaul did bowl well, but did not take wickets. So that is not in your hand. But you could still right. try him out as an option. Same was the yeah. case with Sai Kishore yesterday. He bowled very too good to not take any wicket. And again, yeah. luck will always be there. Like for Maxwell, he shouldn't have had uh, weighed out. That was not out. <laughs> and he should have been out bowled first ball. But, but he, he got, got a win plus. <laughs> and he got 118 points. So that is the thing with luck. I'll say a lot of people have been very frustrated just like me that uh, yeah. how do you come such times but these are the times when you have to realize that are you losing because of your mistake or because of luck playing a bigger factor so uh, have that balance and then use that experience of watching people play key roles to then back those guys in the grand leagues in the games coming up right I think that's a wealth of experience from you so thank you so much for letting that out to us And you can join us on the Telegram channel for a few more updates. And yes, I think I'm going to take a few more hints from Nikhil before we get to that game. So all the good luck.